Hello, it's Aaron from Mossnap Gaming, and today I want to show you how to get Game Boy Advance emulator, Nintendo DS emulator, ETC, for your iOS device. No jailbreak or computer required. So before you're anything, you're gonna do anything. You're gonna have to go to settings, general. You're gonna go to set date and time, and then you're gonna hit on the day you are, and then you're gonna change the year to 2012, because we're 2013 right now. Sorry, I can't do this on camera, or else it will crash. So next, you want to go to Safari. loading. You're going to hit the search bar in the corner and you're going to search emu for iOS. You're going to tap on the first one which is download emu for iOS. Um, emu for iOS Weebly, the Weebly one. Okay, I'm going to tap on this. So I apologize for my lagginess on my iPod Touch 4G. I'm using the screen recorder I got from the App Store called x which I'm not sure is still on the App Store. So it says, must read before install. You have to set it back to 2012. You're going to um, choose the emulator what you want. And then, after you install, you can change it back to 2013. Or you just hit set automatically and you're good. So you're going to hit this arrow right here, where it says choose application. And, I, and I'm going to show you guys how to get GBA for iOS. It's um, originally for jailbreak only, but now this guy brought it no jailbreak, totally legal and stuff. So you're going to wait, and then it's going to come up www.weebly.com. would like to install GBA for iOS. You'll simply hit install. And it'll bring you, for, it'll bring you to your um, menu while you wait. So um, it's usually not really that laggy, honestly. Sorry, I'm using the screen recorder. Um, you could also get screen recorders off that website record my screen but I'm just using x for now so it's done downloading you're gonna hit GBA for iOS icon of course and you're gonna hit the search button because obviously you don't have any ROMs to play in and it says it's gonna launch Safari you're gonna hit open Safari and what it basically does is gonna search GBA for um ROMs for iPod. So um as we wait for it to load, I'm just gonna take away this web browser. And Quorum.com has the most choices and it's the most reliable. But I'm gonna be using Dope ROMs, which is more reliable. Well no um uh, not more reliable, sorry. It's faster. We're going to scroll down to top 100 Game Boy Advance ROMs, which is Dope ROMs. And, um... Yeah, it's loading. So yep, um, I'm just gonna get Pokemon Leaf Green, just for now, you know. Okay, it's loading. Sorry if you hear anything in the background. Yeah. So you're gonna scroll down, hit download.
And now you just hit open in GBA for iOS. It's going to bring you to GBA for iOS. And you can enjoy all the games you want. Um, I think my friend said that the Nintendo DS one is currently not working. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys that it works. Yeah, the RL. You could also um, make it a different control scheme if you want. So as you see, the game's loading up. Um, the GBA for iOS does have audio issues, sadly. But, um, you know, at least it works. So, whenever you're done, remember you always have to hit save state, and you just keep opening the save state stuff, and just keep saving. So, yeah, um, at the end, you could, you know, set your bait back, your, you could set your date back by going to general, set date and time, and then turn on set automatically and then you're good to go so i'm aaron from awesnap gaming and i'll see you later